Chinese New Year and happy the Lantern Festival. So my name is Ping Hua and I'm the director uh, of Chinese Asa Samten. Today I'm going to um, show you the pipa and I'm going to teach you um, how to play pipa. And pipa has a very long history. It's written on Chinese uh, text about three, uh, over 3,000 years ago. So pipa, original pipa is not like this one. This is a, is a modern pipa. So original one, it has a crooked head. So this is a, the head is not straight, it's a bent backwards like this. And the body is much larger. And only have a, a few, four or five frets. Which when you play, it's play like a horizontally, like we hold the guitar with a large plectrum to play like this way, plectrum. So, so it's going forward, you're plucking forward, it's called P, bring back, it's called a pa. That's why P pa, the name comes from. And uh, more than P pa, it's going through a lot of a uh, kind of development. So the most important is going to the straight, like this position. That's why your left hand is free. You don't need to hold the instrument. You can free and play the tune. And we have uh, 23 threads. This is made of a bamboo. And also have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This 6 also is threads, but it's named xiang in Chinese. Normally it's made of a wood. Some, some of the uh, instrument, the uh, pipa made of the jade. And uh, the string, we have a four, not like people think, oh, it's probably like a guitar. So there's only four string. So the, the string originally is a thick. Now it's changed to a steel. And also with the, the right hand, you play, instead of use a plectrum, you use actually imitation nail. You put a nail on each of the finger, it's on outside of your, your nail, the guitar, when you play guitar, you put it the other side, yeah, it's different. So, so when you use uh, the basic uh, for the pipa, actually we can imagine, just use your left hand to pre press the string. But with your right hand, you play uh, like a pluck forward, forward, on the backward with the thumb. So with index finger, actually, it's going like about a 45 degree, for like a left towards your uh, left hand side, going up. So that's the two simple movement. Then you can develop to the uh, you know. Um, so with a two finger for the tremolo, you know, two finger, then three finger, four finger to five finger. So for the pipa, the pipa is, is, a, is a leading instrument in Chinese orchestra. So pipa can make a lot of a sound, a special sound, for example. For a new year, for a new year, we have a five crack. So we have a five crack sound. Like this one. That's it. So it's a pipa. Uh, like if I also when the snow, the snow on the on the trees, when the snow they have a lot heavy snow, that's snow falling down. Same, so we can make another sound. The snow falling down from the tree. So this is the, you know, um, the beauty of the pipa. So um, I'm going to uh, show you some uh, basic uh, performance of uh, how to play the pipa. First of all, I would like to show you how to do the uh, notation, the Chinese uh, notation because there's different from a Western. Western, we have five lines, but Chinese one is numbered. So number is from zero 
One, two, three, four, seven. Zero means rest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The do re mi fa so la ti. The four, uh, uh, seven note. So I'm going to teach you a simple song today. It's called uh, Happy New Year. So this is the, the, the board. I already write all the uh, notes on the board. It's Happy New Year. Normally, the Chinese music uh, sheet looks like this one. First of all, on the top of the title on the center of the page. So Happy New Year is the title of this song. On the right side, it's uh, normally it's a composer, it's the name of the composer or who's arranged this music. Now it's here the English children's song. Okay, we also have the key structure, uh, key signature, one equal D. That means it's D major. The D major, I, I didn't actually explain how the P parts tune. As, as, uh, the first string, the thick one here, is A. D. E. A. So this is a... This is like a, a octaves, like the same. So that means the do equal D, the D major. So anything we find on the D on the instrument, that means do. Okay, let's find out. So this is A, A, B, C, A, B, C, B. So this is do, the D major from pipa. So also, because it is too far away, I can find another door close to, uh, you know, this position. So from the second string, that's uh, E, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. So from here is D, so D major door is here. Okay. Okay, so the D major. Um, for the string, for example, how can you read all this? So for the key signature, I already told you D major, okay? The next one is uh, for the time, the time signature. The time signature is, that, what that means? Normally it shows like a fractions. Three over four, that means, the four means the, a quarter. You know, one of the, the quarter. So three quarter of the note consists with one bar. So the one bar have a three beats. So each beat with a, a quarter of a note. So here, so this is a set. We understand that this is a bar. Okay. So for the D major, the first one is do 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 so. So why have the end end line? The end line, but the number itself, it's like a quarter, the note. Once you have a line underneath, that means the note only, the dist, actually the length of a note should be half of a, you know, has reduced the half, so it's only half. So this is mi, 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 do, okay, so from the first one, do, 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 so, mi, 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 do, okay. Then da di da 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 di de 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 di da da di de di do da di de da di de do. Okay, right now. So you think oh so many, you know, uh, marks. What that mean? First of all, I would like show you the string. So you have to follow this marks and instruct you how to play the instrument. For the string, the, the further one, this one, the thinner one, okay, is a one. In Chinese uh, writing, this is a one. And the second string, two, there's like this symbol, two, three, okay, this is a Chinese character, three, four. So this is the four uh, marks represent the four strings. So when you see, why there's a bracket? The break means open string. You don't need to press your finger. So anything show on here, it just play itself, right? There's no actually uh, uh, fingers pressed on the string. Okay. Can we find other 
uh, marks, for example, why there's a, on the note above, there's a number, Chinese number, four. So any note above, that means which finger you're going to play. That means with your uh, number of your finger. So I wrote here, the left hand, the first the index finger is Chinese character one, the middle finger two, the ring finger three, the little finger four. So here the four means you little finger to press the five. Uh, so, okay. Uh, anything else I need to explain for uh, why this little number here, but this is number the similar to the Western uh, notation, that's mean the bar. We have one, two, so this, this bar means this is the third bar, then six, four. So whole music is eight bars in total, okay? Right, anything else? Uh, okay, we have a finger notation, everything, okay, and the strings. Now, the top one, I use a purple to show. The purple uh, in, means your right hand. So, this one, similar to the, the further one, that this one means that you play in a pluck forward with the index finger. This way. Okay. This one is going back, your thumb going up, right, look here, we have double, double means you have to play two strings, same times, for example, uh, this one, do, do, okay, this do, because it opens string, as I already said, A, D, E, A, D, it's open string, do, right? So they have a dot underneath. This do is a normal do. So how to play this together? This is a, the top one on the second string. The third one open string. Play them together. Okay, so this is do. The second string, the third string. So there's two string play together. That's why I have a two on the top. Okay, anything else? Let's have a look. Okay, now this one, this is the, so the way how to mark it, first with the note, on top of the note, you have to put a, if you have need to mark your finger, left hand finger is on the top, on the far way, the top is the right hand. So for example, we look at this one, so, it's a third string. Okay, we find this in a moment. Then this so with a two dot. This uh, octave lower, lower than so, then have a dot. So when you have a high, you have put a high or put a low to uh, indicate this note is a high with octave, high or low, but this is two. This two has to be on third string, fourth string. Okay, dun, 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 dun. Let's find out. Do, it's a third, it said here, third finger do, that means third finger, a ring finger, second string. So it's here. So this so is the second, a third string with the first finger, so the open string. Okay, the first bar. So next one, mi, 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 do. Mi, 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 do. This do says second string and third string. Third string, open string, don't need to press any finger. With a dot, that means octave lower. Uh, so. Second bar. The next one. Da, di, da, da. Okay. This one is slightly different. Do, mi, index finger, thumb. Index finger, this thumb and index finger play together, same times. So, so do di together, same times with two string. Go this way. Okay, carry on. Fa mi re re. Okay, fa mi fa. Say the third string or third finger. Fa mi re, 
Rear, this rear is open string, so you don't need to press, just open string. Rear is uh, this E. E is rare in D major. Okay, then. Da, 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 da. Repeat. Next one. Mi, re, mi, do. This again, the two strings, the double X, two strings uh, played together. Da, di, da, da. This one again, so the. It's a third string, fourth string, play together. The last one. So this is the whole piece. So if I play one more time with all the piece. So this is the whole piece and uh, so when you look at the whole piece you saw the different the bar there's a single line there's a double line the double line means uh, this music is complete this is the end the end of music so um, that's uh, the piece we're going to teach today I hope you learned so if you want to learn pipa you can contact me I wish you enjoyed the uh, lesson today and I also wish you a happy Lenten Festival.